Hello, shampoo and booze friends. This is episode number 85, the pandemic version. As we all know, the world has been crazy, especially for people in the travel industry who have Airbnbs. I know a lot of us have had our localities shut down our rentals. And if not shut down, people are a little bit freaked out to have people in their homes. Um, we have all kinds of cleaning that we have to do, new new types of cleaning. Just know you're not alone in that. So all of us are dealing with this new world, this new craziness, and I hope everybody's doing okay. Ashley and I had a design client who we really love named Samantha. She has a guest room in her house for the last several years. She has amazing reviews. She is shut down for short-term rentals right now, but she does have some long-term renters that come for weeks at a time um, that stay with her family. And so she thought now would be a good time to sort of upgrade her space. You can see our design services at notperf.com. We are not perfect design services. And this is one of our clients and we really had fun with her. So we thought we would show an example of what we do. So um, a couple things we wanted to talk about, just about your listing itself. I know you said not to spend much time on it and we didn't, but there were a couple things we wanted to just go through before we really jump into the design. Okay. So we wanted to just look at other Airbnbs in your area, look at your own listing, look at your pictures, and just think about like what is needed here besides the design, because I think people often overlook like the pictures or the wordsmithing or the titles or even their prices in ways that if you're going to put time into the design, it's also good to just think holistically about how does your listing show up? So a couple of things we wanted to suggest. What, first of all, we love your space and we love your little room and you have amazing reviews. So just congratulations on like already just being a great host and attracting people to your spot. And it seems like you both really enjoy doing it. So good job. Just that, you know, if you want to think about boosting your overall visibility and how you show up in searches, there were a couple things that we wanted to just point out. Talking about your title. So your title right now is private room close to everything, which is great. It just kind of is very straightforward and it says exactly what it is. A couple things that we wanted to suggest were, gave it a little bit more oomph, was sort of like more personal to your listing. Um, so we suggested private room, tree-lined canal, quiet neighborhood. Something Does that like fit? I think in the beginning they had shorter That's title space. It's 50 characters, so I got a character counter and the ones that we suggest do fit. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't. I probably haven't worked on that since 2014. <laughs> exactly. I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> We're so, so that was one suggestion. And then the other was quality hospitality, private room, great location. Ah. And yes, you know, I'm not that close to the beach. Right. Exactly. So I didn't want to be misleading. Exactly. So one yeah. thing that I noticed, Samantha, you said in your um, email that, uh, you said you're about 15 to 20 minutes from like downtown and the beach, which I looked on the map and you are. And so mm -hmm. your title says private room close to everything. And I saw on your star ratings, which I, I hate star ratings, but they have them. People, <laughs> ding, people, people ding you on location. Um, even though you have a great location um, for what it is, you know, yeah. it's not close to the beach, but, but we don't want people to be like, it wasn't close to the beach. It's like, you know, I'm, I don't need to be close to the beach. So I do want quality hospitality, private room, great location, you know, quiet neighborhood. Like that's what I'm looking for. So mm -hmm. let's set up your title to be like, for the people looking for this, this is what we are. You know, I picked the everything because we have, you know, every store, every restaurant, every chain, recreation, yeah. transportation. The only thing I'm not right next to is the beach. So I, right. that's why I did that. Right. Yeah. Because everything about the beach. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Those are just a couple yeah. options for you. Like, feel free to just play with it. We, it just was something we wanted to, yeah. to highlight. Um, 
And the other thing is just talking about your photos and your photo quality. So it seems yeah. like between your bedroom photos and your house photos, the quality is just very different. Um, yeah. I see you nodding. So, and it also, <laughs> a lot of your pictures look like professional pictures, but they also are dated to 2014. They say 2014 on them. There's a reason. Okay. Yes. So that one was done by Airbnb. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. yeah. So Airbnb, I don't know if they still do this, but when they would send a photographer out to take photos. Right. Yeah. Well, things have changed since 2014. And so yeah. I had to change the photos and you can't get the photographer back. And so uh -huh. like, that's one they did. Right. And you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and right. I tried to get as close as I could to that, but with my iPhone, cause that's the uh -huh. only thing that's the highest tech I have at the moment. Right. Totally. Um, so um, one thing we wanted to suggest was the Airbnb photography and it, it you could potentially look again and see if they'll come back to update if, yeah if I they asked. want another option is um contacting a local real estate photographer oh yeah they're they <laughs> tend to be cheaper than like wedding photographers or things like that i know ryan you've had some experience hiring local photographers yeah, and um, I have hired wedding photographers, but I asked them to use a pretty wide angle lens. Um, yes. And they've done really well. I mean, they know lighting, they know all mm -hmm. that stuff, and they will, like, we could tell the difference between your photo of the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, yeah. Like, you can tell right away the difference. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that you get <laughs> someone that really, especially after you redesign it and get new furniture and things like that. Just yeah. someone who can really make it, like you just notice right away the difference. Oh yeah, the, the, the photos they took after the ones I had originally, huge difference, right. yeah. <laughs> same here, same here with my photographer. I'm like, oh wow, yeah. okay, <laughs> they look yeah. amazing. Yeah, when my sister started to do Airbnb, she was she had someone do it right away, and then the, but they missed some things, so I tried to take a photo to fill in, and she was like, yours don't look like hers. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. other piece we wanted to look at was just thinking about who your target audience is and what your direct competition looks like, just for comparison, like what's happening yes. in your neighborhood, why are people coming to your area? The one thing we wanted to um, really emphasize is that the next, you know, it sounds like you've had some single people and maybe some couples and things like that, but like couples are really the next audience to go for and you know you were talking about should i do a queen bed or should i keep it as a full and we are like queen yeah, yeah. <laughs> because often a couple looking for a space will just search default for a queen bed queen or king, and yeah if that's yeah. the case they might not even see your listing um so queen bed first by that now jeez I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because when I'm searching with, I'm sure Ashley does this too. Like, I mean, we even, we even search for multiple beds. You know, we're like queen, two beds, king. Like I'm spreading out. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah, people might miss you. So it's great to just be like, okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for couples. Okay, they want a queen bed. That's going to go a long way. And then the other piece is just, in terms of thinking of your photos, like how do we think about your shared spaces? So your kitchen, your living room, your patio. And so we will get to that a little bit, but I just wanted to think about your listing attracting couples really should show all of the shared spaces in like a highlighted way. And then, so like making those a little bit more invisible in your photos, I know your living room isn't shown anywhere. I don't know if that is a shared space. Oh, it used to be in there. It's not in there now? Not right now, we didn't see it. There's a sliver in one of the kitchen photos, but there's not a full photo. Guests don't really, they're not really usually interested in hanging out in the living room. Okay, well yeah. that's good then. See, because if they're willing to stay in just a room and they don't want the whole house, yeah. then, you know, they don't need extra people around. They're not necessarily looking to socialize. Yes, They're probably exactly. here on business for meetings. Like we've had people come here for the Tony Robbins uh, thing. And so they're barely here at all. Okay. And um, so when we get really friendly with a guest, you know, like, cause I've had a lot of interns that are here for three and four months wow. and my medical, the medical student was going to be six months, but he got cut off by 
COVID. <laughs> and so, yes, we get very friendly with them and they will come and hang out in the kitchen, patio, living room. But yeah, Airbnb used to limit your photos. So I had to pick and choose. That's true. Now, uh, yeah. now, now you can put a lot more. So yeah, I think it would be good to have a living room photo. I've also found that people, especially if they're shorter term are less likely to hang out in the living room, but at least you get a sense of all the spaces. Yeah. Um, and so just looking at your area, you know, the kind of average hotel for two people on the lower end is like 95 a night. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for your own prices? I know you said you had tried to raise prices and it really kind of dropped off a cliff. But one thing I noticed <laughs> in looking at other um, Airbnbs in your area is they're all pretty low priced, right? $30, $40 for a private room, but they're so mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> they're so, so <laughs> mediocre. And I think what you're offering is um, much more elevated compared to those listings. And hmm. I added, just in this little document, we added the search for other super hosts in your areas, in your area. And then we also added, uh, one that's sort of in comparison to your space yeah. and they're booking $59 a night. We mm -hmm. thought that over time, especially if you're going to be making an investment into this space, you could easily get up to $59 a night, just an extra $19 and between, you know, five and 10 bookings kind of bumping it up over time. We yeah. think you could easily, easily, um, do something in that price range. But I think if you're putting time, energy, money into the space and you get new pictures, I think you're going to kind of blow your competition out of the water, honestly. And also your reviews right now are really great. Like people love you guys. People feel very comfortable in your home and you have, uh, you have 42 reviews, which is a lot more, like, I think the one we linked to in the document that you'll see, I think they have nine reviews. Like they just, you know, there are some people who have zero reviews that have a similar space to you. And, you know, I feel like people would pick you over them if you, yes. if you change this. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, back in 2015, 16, 14, 15, 16, that's when Airbnb was taken yeah. off, really yeah. taken off. And there was a lot of competition. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, some of the houses, I live in Boca Raton. I don't know if you know anything about it, but, you know, the high, the per capita is kind of high-ish. Mm -hmm. um, I'm married to a teacher, so that's not us. But so some of these houses are really nice. They're brand new yeah. or very new. And they're just a lot more generally luxurious kind of-ish than mine. Mine is very, very basic. <laughs> you know, I'm right. not in an HOA. But when you're getting all the, the volume in, um, maybe that's really... That, that's really why I kept my rates low. I, I did actually compare to hotel rates one year and raised them all and got no response at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. So, well, and yeah. when someone's looking, especially a couple, if they're looking for an Airbnb, they're looking to save money. Yeah. And so if they're looking for something that's roughly half or even like $20 less than a hotel. So that's why I was thinking you don't need to get all the way to that level, especially since it's not an entire house. It's just a private room. But yeah. $59 a night is still like a steal. Super affordable, yeah. Hotel. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's let's get into okay. design. We're going to talk about your room. Um, and I think as we, as we mentioned, we're going to look at this Pinterest board here. The most important thing is the bed. That's the <laughs> major piece of furniture um, in the room. Yeah. And like we said, queen bed, um, I actually measured your room and then I measured this bed and I like did a little paper cutout and made sure it would fit in there and I'm, it'll fit. Yeah, um, it fits. It just doesn't leave a lot of room on okay. the side. Okay. So yeah. here's, here's my solution for you. This is like, this is my ultimate solution for a bed. We <laughs> have the same bed in one of our rentals and people go crazy for it and i've had two people say they went home and bought this bed at ikea after staying <laughs> i swear to you so oh, um check this bed out the it's ikea i know you have like i think you have two ikeas close to you so i'm yeah. not sure you can get this 40 minutes or something yeah okay my ikea is two and a half hours away so i feel oh you feel lucky compared to me. So, so this, this bed at Ikea is brilliant because um, it has 
four dresser drawers on the bottom, so you don't need a dresser anywhere. It has a headboard um, that's also shelves. So we don't yeah, need to, yeah, so there's a headboard in the back where you can put, like you can see in this picture, there's a lamp and a little, um, you know, plant and stuff like that. And then on the side, yeah. what we do is we put tissues and people can like charge their phone in there. We have no side tables. We have no dresser. We just have the bed. The bed is like three pieces of furniture in one. Love it. And so no side tables, those take up no, you know, there's no room, no dresser, and you can put a bigger bed. And if people don't mind having to, like, because usually people just want to just reach right there, and you, they don't mind having to go, like, no, nope. whatever they have to do. <laughs> I've had nothing but rave reviews of this bed every single time. Um, okay. I put oh, a little the shelves on top. Yeah, there's a shelf in the back. I put a little charger port back there, and then we have two like clip-on lamps on the side for reading, because we have a we have an outlet behind the bed, um, and like a power strip behind the bed, so everything gets plugged in there. And then we have some tissues on the side, and people like put their you know contacts over there, or whatever. Like, it's, okay. it's awesome. I cannot recommend it more, and I think it's gonna help with all your like furniture anxiety <laughs> no <laughs> um and they have it in a couple different colors they have it in um gray black and white i feel like the gray or the white could work really well you can see so there's this oh that's another good picture of the yeah. shelf and the dressers are huge i have a similar bed at my house it's not this ikea one but it's similar i have every piece of clothing i own in these drawers yeah, all headboards are a problem for me because of that. <laughs> the window. Yep. The window. Yep. Designs now are really high. They are so high. I have a, s a similar situation in my own house. It's like there's no window friendly headboards. <laughs> I always like a bed in front of a window. I know it's weird. My bed's in front of a window too. It doesn't yeah. bother me. We wanted to sort of maximize your closet a little bit. So right now you know you sent us some pictures of it there being an air handler in it which is sort of like you know limits what we can do in there my our original idea is we wanted to just take the doors down and use that as extra space in the room but with yeah. the air handler as you nope. know that's like yeah. just kind of uh, thwarts uh -oh. that plan but so in terms of thinking about the the closet so if you really maximize your hanging space um, and think about, um, you know, having like nice matching hangers. And then I was thinking, Ryan just pulled up this little low shelf that you could potentially put on the left side of the closet. So people like can the put their like toiletries, their like book, their, you know, all these like things we acquire when we travel have to go somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> and without like a desk or a big dresser, having just like a little low shelf in the in the closet so they don't have to like put stuff up above on that shelf but they can have some things either folded or you could even just put guest towels in there if you wanted but just somewhere to put their extra random little travel things and then on the right side of the closet having um like a storage rack i don't know if you have people who are bringing a lot of luggage, but sometimes having a luggage holder either that someone can put in the room or just keep in the closet. Um, I know a lot of Airbnb people have used luggage racks. You know, some people love them, some people hate them. I really love them <laughs> in, um, in, in my um, guest room um, and people do use them. So that's another thing that could go over on the right side. And then um, having some hanging, we thought of some hanging hooks on the back of your door. Not the most elegant, but it doesn't require any like, you drills know, or drills. You just yeah. put it on the back yeah. of the door, it's extra hanging space. Yeah, so it's like instead of having one big dresser or one big, you know, thing for clothing, it's like you're actually just spreading it out a little bit more. Let me ask you a question about the closet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is, it is kind of an issue. My house is not that big. So for, I don't have a ton of places to put, you know, when I had to clear out the room for Airbnb, I didn't have somewhere to put everything that was in the closet. Mm -hmm. So right now my card table and chairs is in here. And, and then there's all this stuff. Right. 
What's so that stuff up there? It's, oh, it's a mishmash. Some of that is camping stuff. Mm -hmm. Then we have, we have this, one of those um, arm things, you know, arm pillow for watching TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I'm not sure if I should bother keeping. No one really uses it, but and, I already had it. Yeah. And then here, here's the DVD player. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a solution for that. Yeah, I would say the DVD player can go. I also have a small house with very limited storage. I don't have an attic, I don't have a basement. What I try to do is put things like that in like a nice basket or bin that's hidden. You know, like if you do have to put stuff up there, like people aren't allowed to like go in this bin. Like just make sure it's like- Separated. Organized and put in something that looks nice, but is just like closed off so that it's not just like a pile of stuff. Just because then people yeah. won't go through it or mess with it either. It's just like, it's a bin or a basket and they're just not even going to look at it. Yeah. In the picture that you've got there, you see the closet's pretty wide. So it is. Yeah, usually, yeah. usually that's a plenty of room for people. Yeah. And that's a big asset to you in not having to get a honker of a dresser or a wardrobe <laughs> or anything. Yeah. So yeah. it's really great uh, that you have it. And I think if it feels organized, like Ryan's saying, like, just put some nice, get some nice, you know, what from Target or something, some matching boxes or something. And just, yeah. if you need it for storage for your own house, just organize it in a way that it doesn't, like I've been in Airbnbs before where you open the closet and you're like, oh God, you know, <laughs> you're like, like, what, like what even is happening in people's stuff? <laughs> Yeah, oh which, is, which makes sense because like we live in complicated houses, right? That don't always have storage, but just as long as it can be like literally compartmentalized so that people know they can just spread out and they can have their space and it feels open and free to them. Yeah. So are hangers like this, you're saying get something nicer? <laughs> so the ones at Ikea, Ikea has these really cheap wooden and like metal ones. Like they, they cost like $3 for a bundle. And there's, I yeah. just get like two big bundles and just, they look so nice and they all match and they're sturdy. So if someone has like a jacket, it's not going to be like, cause I have a million of those for eBay. And like, if I put something too heavy on it, it'll like break it. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about the walls and like sort of some bold decor. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I know. See, see the painting that has sentimental value. So that's why it's still here, but yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> it's not exciting at all. Like, I don't know. Okay, so you can see on this board where I'm really into, like, I love that you're in Florida and I'm, I'm into, like, a bold tropical print. Like, I really got into it. Because usually, I'm in Virginia and, like, tropical prints are just not, they feel not correct here. So I was like, <laughs> or New England. <laughs> I'm like, or New England, what? right? It doesn't work in New England either. Yeah, no. so I'm like, she's in Boca Raton. Like, I am going to go a little crazy with this print. Um, oh, my God. And then look, I've got seashells. I know. Well, yeah, and I think I think it's cool to sort of, um, sort of highlight that. It's an interesting um, website. My brother just did this at his apartment. It's temporary wallpaper, so you're not like, being a professional wallpaper with paste or anything, it's literally like a, a wall sticker that you can put on the wall. This it's is low commitment. commitment. It's low, low commitment. commitment. It's low commitment. <laughs> it should be pretty easy to put up. They have a million different print. This is my favorite print for a uh, Boca Raton house. Um, Am I putting that in the bedroom? Yeah, that. I mean, you you don't have to do anything. One wall. We were thinking was the idea of one wall. Okay. We were thinking one so, wall. So like instead of art. Exactly. It, it could be instead okay. of art. Yeah. Um, that would make things <laughs> for you. Uh, so I like that print that I showed you. Or if you're like, that's too much color. I like this sort of gray leafy flora print. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not a great, not a great fan. Not a great person. <laughs> okay. No. So, right. Okay. <laughs> So I would go with something bold and colorful uh, if if you're into being risky like that. I think that it's so <laughs> also I still love it. I feel uh, like we're pushing your I feel like we're pushing your envelope a little. So it would yeah. be, I, I think Ashley and I discussed it. I think you would put it on this back wall, this like this television wall. You wouldn't have to do the whole room. I mean, if you really wanted to do it, you could, but that I don't think wall. you should. Just yeah, one wall. It's a pretty, it's a pretty bold print. 
but picture this because that means when they sit on the bed they're going to be looking at that yeah oh wait if i take out the dresser what am i doing with the tv okay that's my next that's my next thing so my suggestion is i think you should still have a tv in there i think you should get a larger tv that's between like 40 and 50 inches and i think it okay should be, it should be a smart tv it should be a roku tv you can buy them at everywhere you can buy them at walmart everywhere buy costco yep. like every single place yep. has a roku tv they cost yep. 200 250 dollars yeah um, i've seen that and the cool thing so i have one at one of my rentals and the cool thing is you can just either have your netflix signed in for people to share or people can just sign into their netflix or their amazon or their who or whatever and yeah to me having and i think you should mount it on the wall so i have like a tv mount here that you can get they're super easy um <clears throat> okay what I think is interesting about having a TV on that back wall, if there are couples staying, like you said, they want to watch a movie or something Ashley mentioned where they went walking during the day or went golfing in the morning and it's really hot in the afternoon and they want to come home and like watch a show or watch a movie in the air conditioning, yep. then they just zone out on the bed and like are watching a show till they go out to dinner and they have like a nice big TV. <clears throat> on a beautiful wall that's like designed. And I just think that would be a cool, like upscale look. We love the wallpaper idea, but also like we understand wallpaper is not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what we would suggest <laughs> is if you kept the white walls um, to take down that border up top, just cause it's, it's not gonna go with the stuff that we suggest it should come down pretty easily. And then we were thinking, you know, that same sort of bold pattern can be on the bedspread. It's that same feeling. This is a beautiful one. This one I love from Ikea. It's pretty, I think it's like $30. This is oh my! Cool. And That's this, fun. this to me says like tropical Florida, Cuba. Like oh yeah. It just, and the colors are great and it's 30, like I actually might order this because I think it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> now picture the leaf pattern with that. I mean, I like both of them, but I mean, you can have it be too busy and I'm not too good at figuring that part out. So we're not suggesting that you do the print and the print. What we're saying okay. is if you didn't want to do the wallpaper, you could just keep the room white and do a bold linen print on your bed instead. Basically, instead of the wallpaper. Basically what we want is when you take photos of your space that like people see that gorgeous print somewhere, whether it's on the bed or it's on the wall, it's one or the other. So mm -hmm. if you decide to do the wallpaper, I would pick out, um, you know, I would pick out a print like this. This is like a, this is it's like a, a solid. Yeah, it, solid. it's actually like it, if you look up close, it's kind of a, a mellow, like pink. Um, oh yeah, sort of stripy, powdery pink. Two tone. Yeah, and actually, there's there's a couple colors. There's also a green one. <laughs> I mean, I think you can do it, and I and and look, I mean, it's kind of a, a perfect time because if you're getting rid of all that furniture and your daughter's taking it all, it's like you couldn't pick a better time to just like. It's a blank slate. It's just a blank start slate. over. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. So it's yeah. either, you know, some kind of bold print on the wall or some kind of bold print on the linen, but not right. both. And so right. if it was on the wall, you would do a more like these muted, like, you know, dusty pink or this sort of minty green. Yeah. yeah. Or if you were to keep the walls white, then we would do some kind of big print like this on the bed. Ooh, tough choice. <laughs> I know. You'll just have to figure out which one makes more sense to you. So I felt, especially since you said you had some longer term medical students and they prefer to work in the room, you know, I thought about like, okay, what are the options if we're taking out the dresser, if we don't have side tables, um, but we want something that still gives a lot of space in the room. So a couple ideas that we had were, of course, Ikea, like that's like, our, we might as well be an advertisement for them. <laughs> but, you know, thinking about, okay, if you had, um, again, if you had a big pattern on the TV wall, 
Um, this would be mounted like where the refrigerator is now. Yeah, let's see. So it could come out and swing out when you need it and want it. Um, or it could just kind of rest against the um, wall. And actually it has like a little shelf yeah. on the top of it. So that can be like another little storage area if someone just decides not to use it. Um, and then the two, there are a couple different options that we also looked at. One of them was another wall mounted. This is another idea. This could go on the pattern wall, or if you decided not to go with wallpaper, this really could go either on the wall where the refrigerator is now, or if you had room still on the wall to the right of the bed, if you're sitting on the bed. Yeah. Um, either one of those, depending on when you get the Ikea bed in there, really what feels mm -hmm. like the more natural place for it to go. So these were just a couple ideas. And then Ryan found one on Etsy, which it looks like is handmade. This is like a corner folding table, which I thought was adorable. That's cool. Um, now, I, I'm afraid of attaching things to the wall because of them getting jogged loose over time. Mm -hmm. or just not getting attached firmly mm -hmm. like this this is a big worry for me because yeah. you know guests don't always take the best care of things it's yeah. true absolutely well, i know ryan you've you attached the first version right the ikea yeah so i have this one at one of our rentals and what i used was i used a combination of drywall anchors um yeah it has i don't know if it shows you it has like five different screws to screw in the wall. So the middle one I made sure was on a stud. Um, yeah. And then the other ones I have anchors or toggle bolts. There are these things called toggle bolts. bolts. Yeah, I know what those are. Yeah, so those go and they like wing against the drywall. So like the drywall is super in place. You just have mm -hmm. to like, you know, make it. I, I use toggle bolts for anything that has to get anchored in like hollow drywall because I've used those like little tiny plastic ones and they just they they, they never work yeah, Forget exactly. those. <laughs> yeah yeah you so, yeah. something sturdier also I've like I have a couple people who are carpenters and I will be like I need this to be sturdy I want you to use toggle bolts I want you to do it so that I know it's done right yes exactly um, so it's it's like i know how to use toggle bolts but i'm also like i would rather have some you know have someone help me who's a carpenter to just mm -hmm. like make sure it's sturdy so we gave you one two three three folding table options and they yeah. all have different widths so you could just sort of scroll through them and decide what feels like the best solution yeah. um, and then the other, the other things we wanted to offer were um, getting a small stool and a small folding chair. So a stool is great to just have in the space. You can put it next to the bed. You know, someone can put a water on it or whatever. They can use it with the little fold up table. But then having a little folding chair, if someone's going to like really sit down and study for a long time, you don't want to sit on a stool for that whole time. But you could have a folding chair in the closet at all times. And so they kind of have yeah. these different sitting options, even just with their little tiny desk. But yeah. just having those two as options makes it a little bit more comfortable, like someone isn't stuck on a stool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I could look for one of those really cushiony folding chairs. I know they make them with yeah. thick cushions. A cushion. Yeah. Exactly. I actually kept saying that. It needs a cushion on the butt. Totally. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I've, you know, I've sat in Airbnbs for long, long periods yeah. of time working on the laptop, and it's like, you're like, oh. So before we get to the lighting right, I just wanted to say um, you had asked about whether to keep the fridge in the room or not. And we thought not to keep it into the room. Um, you know, you have such close kitchen access and I don't yeah. know how often people have leftovers, but you know, I ran an Airbnb out of my house forever. And as long as there was space in the fridge for people to put their leftovers, I never felt like I needed a fridge in the room or a bottle yeah. of wine or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I just feel like it's such a small room. It's really not worth it to keep it in there. Yeah. I think okay. it's taking up space that you can use otherwise that you, yeah. want, That's true. you want back. 
Yeah. So let's, let's talk about lighting. I, I saw the light when you walked in that room on the Zoom call, but uh, yeah. I was thinking what would look amazing. This, this is the one that I think is gorgeous. Um, it's kind of like, uh, and it's, it's not super expensive. I mean, it's $60. Uh, and it's sort of a, a rattan sort of wicker thing going on. And I think it would look beautiful with, even in this photo, they kind of have that palm leaf over there. And they have that dusty pink. Right. So they kind of have that. So what I, what I want from an overhead light is always a glow. Um, I, I dislike overhead lights. Um, most of the time and I, you know I kind of yeah. picked this one because it matched your closet the color of your closet that kind of brassy um, yeah. color so this is a nice this is an easy one to install for sure um, but then okay. this just kind of elevated the room a little bit and I think you can um, change the length of the cord so if this is too long and it's going to hit someone in the head in the bed you can just bump the cord up so that this is higher but it gives the room another texture, um, and it just, it looks like it belongs in Florida to me. Um, <laughs> we love Florida. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I love that. And then, and then the other thing, uh, I love all kinds of lights. So, and these are cheap. These are $14. Um, these would just like clip on the headboard. Sorry, I'm losing my uh, Wi-Fi. I have these all over my rentals, like by the beds, on side oh, yeah. tables, on that desk. Um, if you've got a fold down desk, you just have the little light. Because sometimes, you know, like yeah. this, this, this is a good example. Like so, someone's in bed, one person's asleep, someone wants to read or look at their phone. It's just a little glow, yep. you know, that's just a clip on. It's tiny, it's LED. You're never gonna have to change the bulb. It's like 25 years, so. Um, yeah. I love those. Those, those, you can just, you know, grab like four of them. This, this is like, Ashley picked this light out and we absolutely love it. And we're like, if there's some oh, yeah. extra room, <laughs> which that, they're that's never a cool in. looking light. Um, but oh, it's yeah. just such a cool, like for us, number one, it's the, the glow of the light, which we love. We love the glow. And it looks yeah. like a, a sculpture. It's sort of like a statement piece and a light, but that's only if you get to a space where you're like, there's extra room in that corner over there. <laughs> also, you know, I wouldn't choose this light if I was also doing the overhead. Okay. One of the reasons why we chose this floor lamp is if you're like, I don't, I can't, I'm not going to over, I'm not going to do the overhead, right. you know, at least something like this. Like a statement. Adds a little light. It isn't just a clip on and it isn't the overhead. It's like it, it yeah. kind of like brings something it's like to mood the lighting. lighting. It's like a yeah. little bit of mood. Like I am all about mood lighting. Like there are times where I'll just be sitting in a room where it's like kind of dark and I'm just like hanging out and I'll put like just a lamp on in the corner just to like have a a little glow going on. Jay's always like, why is this light on? <laughs> <laughs> like like yeah. a little glow. <laughs> Put my glow on. <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. Well, the, the light is on the ceiling. I don't like lights right up there because I, yeah. I want my light closer to what I'm reading. Right. So that's why I have the ones on the tables. Right. And for a long time, I only had one little lamp. I only just got the pair from a friend that was getting rid of them. So we know you're not getting rid of your carpeting and it's all new and that's great. Um, if you wanted to add a little color or, you know, say you decide not to do a big bold pattern on the wall, but you get some nice bedspread that has some kind of pattern, but you still want to add some texture or color. So yes. Ryan had pulled up before, um, the kind of lemony yellow, um, sort of contemporary rug, area rug. So this is something that you can put down to kind of anchor the room, make it feel a little bit more modern, but it's not just like the built-in rug. So that's one option. And then I think you had another one, Rye. This is another option. It brings in a little bit more color, a little bit more abstract pattern. You know, those two kind of have the same flavor. Um, yeah. And then I threw in, I always like the like chunky loop 
neutral rugs. Um, and that could be interesting if you had a lot of pattern going on in the room, but you just wanted to add a little texture to the floor, something that yeah. feels kind of like tropical and florida e, but, you know, isn't necessarily its own like statement pattern. So we wanted to give that yeah. as an option. Do you find if you put a light colored rug, does it get, I, I've had a problem with rugs getting dirty in only the traffic area and then you can't get them clean again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems to happen to all of them. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about area rugs is you can move around where they are in the room so that they can be sort of trafficked the same way. Yeah, yeah right. Um, yeah. And then also, um, you know, I have people not bring shoes in the house. That's one yeah. of my things, but. Shoes off. Yeah. The other thing too about yeah. a lot of these rugs on um, rug, uh, Rugs USA, which we've been looking up, is they're polypropylene. So if it's yeah. a small enough rug, I wash them. Like I throw yeah. them in the washing machine. Um, yeah. And I have a few of these polypropylene rugs at several of my rentals, um, mostly because they are washable. And like people, I have, so we'll show you another one that we like for your kitchen. And I believe it's polypropylene. Like you just wash it. Like it, it's yeah. basically polyester. It just does not yeah. stain. Like I've never seen a stain on there. Like you just wipe okay. it off and it's gone. So they're um, pretty low pile too. So they don't, tend pile, to, yeah. yeah, they okay. don't tend to wear in that same way. Yeah. So another thing too, real quick, um, that we, we know you're in Florida and I think you should keep your room, your room darkening shades. I think that's important. Um, the one, the blinds that you have, but to soften them up, like this is a $12 pair of gauzy sort of linen looking, um, gray curtains from Ikea. Um, yeah simple like just put that in front of it with like a basic curtain rod and it'll just soften that window um but i think it's good to keep that because like i've seen a bunch of listings in florida and like everybody has those blinds because you need them for staying cool um so yeah. i think it's fine to keep that but i feel like putting the gray sort of gauzy in front of it just softens that window a little bit so it just doesn't look yeah. like it's you know, utilitarian and that's all it is. Can I get, can I make those shorter? Cause the windows behind the bed. Yeah, you can. Um, so Ikea has this stuff that's brilliant and amazing. And I think you can get it in the curtain section where you can either use a sewing machine, but you can fold it up and it's like this glue stuff that you iron on and it glues the, um, like you would cut, you would cut these like below and then just fold it a couple of times and then you iron the glue on and it's, yeah, or it's so fast. It's like, this is yeah, like steam fuser or something like that. I've, yeah, I've heard of it. something like that. It's like easy yeah. hem or something. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. They, they're always like, they sell it. It's like five bucks. So let's And maybe we'll just take a quick second to kind of zoom through a couple ideas. And, you know, I know your main concern was the bedroom. And we wanted to just add a couple ideas we had because they're shared spaces for the kitchen and for the patio. And they're like very simple. So we just breeze through. Also, we love your bathroom. We didn't really have anything to add. <laughs> yeah, great. That's the one room that I sort of was managed to get it to be more, a little more interesting. It's awesome. I'm not too good at that. I'm, you know, this is not my, not my wheelhouse. I'm like, I'm the administrator type. I do the numbers, you know? <laughs> I love it. Funny. That's yeah. what we're here for. Yeah, that's um, what we're here. Yeah. We love this stuff, like, <laughs> endlessly. Yeah. Um, yeah. We well, just yeah, and watching your other videos is what gave me the idea, because I'm like, I need somebody with ideas here. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Right. So, um, Ryan compiled this, like, adorable little list of ideas for the kitchen, which is really just, like, thinking about a simple um, wooden table with some more chair options. She had noticed in your reviews that people joined you for dinner or, you know, spent That's time awesome. in the kitchen. And so we thought, okay, what are some ways where we could make this space feel a little bit more modern, but also shared? Just adding <laughs> like a couple dining room table options with either a bench on one side and a couple chairs. Again, I'm a big fan of like cushions or like fluffy things to sit on. So, you know, you can always add those. Oh, um, that looks neat. I don't think that'll fit, but. 
this is a very expensive table. I, I was just using it <laughs> as an example. I saw the yeah. price and I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 It looks neato, but I don't think my space is big enough for that. Yeah. Ikea has some smaller tables. So we just offered like a kind of modern abstract rug. Um, you know, it didn't feel like there was a lot of different um, like color conflicts in your kitchen. So this was just one idea we had, you know, adding some color without it being too busy or too geometric. So these are just some ideas, of course, like take them or leave them. Um, you know that that chunky jute rug that you had when we were talking about the bedroom? Yeah. I really like that too. I wonder if that yeah. would work in the dining room. That would be beautiful. Ryan, do you want to talk about the patio? Yeah, so um, your patio um, is amazing. Like, I think it's so cool. <laughs> it's screened in. It's right on a waterway. Like, if I were staying yeah. in your place, I would want to have my coffee out there, have a glass of wine, have my, I would just yep. be like, I'm taking over this patio. Yep, um, yep. <laughs> so I don't know if you still have that same furniture. I think the furniture is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's getting have, old though. It's got, yeah. we need new cushions. The cushions yeah, have to so, so it's easy to get new cushions. Ikea has outdoor yeah. cushions. Um, it's easy to sort of elevate the space with like, you know, little strings of lights that make it feel really cozy and outdoor rugs. Yeah. They're not super expensive. Um, outdoor cushions. Um, I also feel like you need a bunch of plants out there. Like you're in Florida, so you can just have like these massive palm plants. Like that photo kind of shows it. Some of us are not good at keeping plants alive. Yeah, I'm not very good at it either, but. Um, oh, my mother was the expert. I tried to do it and I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. Well, there are, uh, like Ashley's really good at it telling you what kind of plants don't need a lot of water like succulents. Oh my gosh that looks amazing. Shoot can we just transport that? <laughs> but look how easy that is though. They have their furniture like you're, you can have your furniture maybe get a coffee table if you don't have one. They have a string of lights that's it and a few plants. And a yeah. Like it's not it's not I mean they have a lot of layers there but um, yeah. yeah. It's all about like sticking with some kind of palette so they maybe they started with their rug you know it's like the biggest thing so they were like yeah. all right black and white and then they looked for other textural things that were like white grays and blacks and then their only pop of color is the plants mm -hmm. and they have like one teal pillow yeah so it's just, you start with the rug and you kind of build up from there because I think people get overwhelmed with all of the possibilities, you know, like yeah. oh, I could do this or I could do, you know, but it's like, just start with your baseline <laughs> and just like slowly build from there with yeah. that color as your palette. I, it does look amazing. I, just in case you ever check back on the listing, because I've done that to yours, <laughs> you know, when you had a, a one that you critiqued yeah. to see if they followed your ex, um, suggestions. On my patio, it gets dirty, pretty seriously yeah. dirty because we're not far from um, you know one of the four lane roads, and I think we must get a lot of dirt blowing in like from so there because it's because it's black. There are these outdoor rugs, or at least a couple of them are. You can just literally spray them down with a hose. Yeah. You know, they're kind of like plastic based, so that's good. Oh, yeah. And, and then the other thing is just a couple plants, like a banana plant and a palm plant yeah. or something, you know. That's easy. Yeah. And and like even just those two little elements just make it feel a little more inviting. Even if yeah. you did like you said, get new cushions. Um maybe the cushions are colored. Like they have they're not beige, they're like blue and teal and pink. Um, I was thinking that. We were actually discussing it recently. Yeah. I love it. You need to do that. Yeah. You have plants and then you have a couple strings of lights. Like you wouldn't even have to get a rug if you don't want to. So the other thing too about these is not just like, we want you to have a cool looking house. I mean, you're going <laughs> to, you're going to, which we do, but we do. <laughs> you're photos of these and people are like, oh, we're staying there. Like, yeah. I'm, there I want to hang out these people seem like really chill cool people in their reviews let's see I'm looking here. at that photo and just being like so envious <laughs> I'm like that does not look anything like that 
Like, look at, this is, one is so simple. I yeah. mean, it really is just a couple little things. Colorful yeah. stuff. And they have one plant. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I told my husband we should consider getting panels where you can close it in during the hot months. Because uh -huh. um, it's hot out there right now. Yeah, um, right, right, right. But, you know, that, that's really a lot of money. And my husband's a teacher, so we do not have an overabundance of funds here, you know. Exactly. <laughs> we need you to raise your MVP price. That's why yeah. we want you to make more money. Yeah, always make yeah. more money. Oh, that's really good at having seeds. Because you guys have experience, that really helps because it's hard to decide to spend a thousand bucks on something if you don't know if it's going to go over well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, agree, you know? I agree with you. Yeah, it's yep. true. But I think. I, I'm really actually very inspired by your reviews because I don't run an Airbnb in my house. So to see people be like, we felt like family, you know, you're like, that's just, that's just like, you know, you don't read that in other reviews. You really don't. Oh, yeah. You know, so, so right. it's, you have a special place and, and I'm excited for you to just like bump it up so that people are like, that's where we want to stay. Now I'm really glad I did it because like I would have had none of these ideas. This is all so totally far out for what I would have thought of, you know. <laughs> Good. I'm you glad. Know. I'm impressed with the amount of work you put into that. <laughs> we were when you impressive. pushed that button. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Ryan texted me at some point and was like, I went crazy. I was like, I love it. <laughs> I was like, Pinterest, Pinterest. People need encouragement to rent single rooms on Airbnb because I've had a lot of people ask me about it and they're just totally put off by all you have to think about. I mean, my sister just started her Airbnb back in October and she had been trying to get that thing up and running for a year. And she said every time she would go to the website to try and complete everything, well, when I did it, you look at the listing how it is now, all you did was fill in the blanks. You just went right down the line. Now, when you start a new one, there's 10 tabs across the top and each page has all these decisions to make. She was, she's like, I'd look at it for 10 minutes and be like, forget it. Cause she owns a business too. And, and she has a building and horses, you know, she was too much, too, 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 too much. So I was able to go in and finish that. And I posted that thing at 11 o'clock at night. Airbnb is supposed to approve it before it goes live. By seven o'clock the next morning, she had four requests. Oh my God. She's right, mm -hmm. she's right outside of Zion National Park. Oh, she wow. has a loft. It's gorgeous. Oh, God. Send us the link. I want to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to look yeah. at it. I mean, yeah. this is so, like you know, our nerdy nerdiness coming out. We're like, let's look at it. What does it look like? Yeah. Oh, totally. I get that. But, you know, if somebody wants to rent a bedroom, you know, look how you can really help out your income, but yeah, there's a lot of decisions in the beginning. You're like, I don't know. Oh, yes. you know, we changed a lot of stuff since yeah. the first day. So much. And then like taking photos and writing, like writing the title, writing a lot. Like, it's just like, yeah, it's, it's a yeah. lot it's overwhelming, but once you do it, it's just an incredible, to me, it's an incredible source of income and just, you know, you meet a lot of people and I just yeah. think it's amazing. So yeah. Well, and you know, people also are afraid of having strangers in their home. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I know Ashley did that. So yeah. um, my husband actually brought that up at first. And when I first heard about Airbnb, I had figured out that we were going to run out of college money. And I'm like, I think we need to try this. And he's like, wait, have strangers in our home? Now, my husband's a teacher. He's around people all day. Before that, he worked in hotels. All he did all day was meet strangers and talk to strangers. He knew our neighbors before I did in both places we've lived. I'm like, Darren, you're the one always talking to strangers. I mean, let's just try it. And if you don't like it, we'll just turn it off. So that makes me laugh. But then um, also I figured out that first of all, when people start messaging you, I feel like if they're cuckoo, you can kind of tell in their messaging. Yeah. You know, if they're off the wall, you know. It they doesn't have, like, take too many emails. Really detailed questions about the craziest things. You're like, yeah, no. Well, we're so happy to work with you. Thank you so much for reaching out. And we're going to follow up with an email with all your goodies. And feel free to ask questions on anything. Yeah. And, you know, we're we'll, excited we'll, to see what you do. Please. Yeah. Please keep in touch with <laughs> you us. Have we'll, we'll, time, you have a tight timeline where you're like, the furniture's gone. My person's coming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So well, we thank you for talking.
to us and uh we're gonna oh, thank you i'm in I'm really amazed by all the things that you did. We're so happy. We're so happy. And so <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Really fun to work on. Okay, bye. All right. Uh, all right, take care. Thank you so much. We'll be in touch. Thanks for watching this hour-long design consult. We had a lot of fun with Samantha, and we hope that you guys are doing well and you're safe, and hopefully your Airbnbs will be up and running soon if they're not running now. Check out our design services at notperf.com. You can see us on YouTube, youtube.com slash shampoo and booze. You can send us your listing, shampooandbooze at gmail.com. And we'll see you soon. Stay safe.